Hey everyone and welcome or welcome back to the channel. This is your host Carmina, so welcome. If you're with me today, then you saw my thumbnail or you saw the title of the video and that tells me you're either interested in little peep or in human design. So welcome to both of these groups. Today we are going to be discussing the very interesting, fascinating profile, which is the 2-5, the hermit heretic, as it is called in human design. And that is what Little Peep's profile was. And I'm going to explain the main traits of this profile after having seen the, the documentary on Netflix about his life last night. So for those of you who don't know, he was a very talented and very young artist. He died at only 21. But in two years, he became super popular. Millions of views on YouTube, sold out concerts worldwide. And for those of you who don't know what human design is, it's a synthesis of uh, the I Ching, astrology, the Indian chakra system, and also the Kabbalah tree of life. I was very sad to watch the Little Pip documentary. It just brought back the feelings from two years and a half ago when he just suddenly died. But looking at uh, his human design profile, it made a lot of sense about how his life was. Okay, so this is what his human design looks like. The red part is his design, his unconscious part, and the black part is his personality, the conscious part. His sacral center is open, his throat center is open, and um, his motor, his authority is planning. This is the authority that he ought to be listening to, and I'm going, going to explain to you what that is. You can see here that the, the signature for projectors is success, and the not-self theme is bitterness. The strategy for projectors is to wait for the invitation and the inner authority in his case was the spleen. So what that means is that it was good when he listened to like an inner voice in the moment. So this voice only talks once. It's not like a gut feeling that the generators have a sacral feeling. It's just like something very subtle, an intuition that you have. And he ideally would need to act on it in the moment and it's very interesting because in the documentary one of his collaborators were saying yeah we just went to the studio and we just wrote the songs in 20 minutes and that was it the very interesting part i wanted to talk to you about is his profile and the profile is made of the the conscious part the sun and the earth placement in the gates and these are the lines of the gates where the sun and earth are placed you can see here that we have two so he's a profile two five and the two profile is called um, the hermit it's a shy energy introverted energy that has a, a talent but just likes to do his talent in the seclusion of his own home just by himself and we can see from the documentary that's what was happening with him he made like a little studio in his apartment he just you know made everything dark with drapes he just liked to be secluded and by himself and, but then his design is five that means he's also a heretic a rebel a teacher so naturally he is going to be put out there he's going to be of a more rebellious nature, of a more heretic nature. And if you look at little people, like, you know, he has tattoos all over his face. He's like someone definitely that people would say embody like a rebellious and punk spirit that didn't want to fit in the society. And that's exactly the seductive energy that the five line has. All the people who have this five line get projected on by the masses. Like people have a lot of expectations from them. It's said that when a baby is born that carries the five line, parents, everyone is like, oh my God, this is going to be the best baby ever. And everyone in their life, this is going to be my best friend ever, my best boyfriend ever, the best artist ever. So he just gets put on this projection like, everyone sees them as some sort of savior and expectations are very burdening. The 2-5 hermit heretic has um, an attractive 
savior energy. So for some it's a savior, for others it's a rebel, but it's here to be a natural and a gifted person. The 2-5 profile will always have this magnetic, this alluring quality. He was touring in Europe, he was having sold out. People were waiting for him at the airport as if he were like the Beatles or something, overwhelming him with attention. This is a very tough to handle because the 2-5 also has that shy, reserved hermit side of the two, which doesn't like that much attention. So that can create a heaviness. Ultimately, the 2-5, in order for them to be healthy, they need to escape the pressure, to get their alone time, to escape the fans, to escape the entourage. You have to also remember that it's even harder for a projector who has this 2-5 because they have this appeal that draws the masses in, but they also have an open sacral center. So naturally, they don't have as much energy, as much vital force as other people. So when people with the sacral energy defined come into their aura, his sacral center also gets defined and he's kind of living as if he were them, taking things to an extreme. In the documentary, people were saying that he always took the most drugs out of everyone because when you have an open sacral you don't really know when to stop and at the same time his girlfriend she said that you know i could be with him for a week and he didn't take any drugs he didn't need any drugs so if he was by himself he didn't need to do that but then when other people came into his aura then everything got super magnified like the excess was great and another important thing he always had like a group of people following him around like 10 people even he couldn't sleep in his own bed at his own house he had like always constantly random people sleeping in his house sharing his food it was very tough for him it was tough on two accounts on the one hand his shy and reserved side the two line which is the hermit he wanted he needed his alone time and especially as a projector with an open sacral center but his five line he was feeling very guilty. He wanted to help everyone. His collaborators were saying that, you know, he would just hide in the closet and cry because he just couldn't tell everyone to leave. So he was at the same time, he, he felt guilty that he couldn't do more for people. Everybody expected everything from him. So that's a perfect illustration of the five line. Like people, they just want everything. They just want to be around you. And especially a projector, has the quality of making you feel like you're the only person in a room. So whoever he got his attention on, they felt like super great. So these two things combined, super magnetic appeal. So people were just drawn to him. They just wanted to be around him. They just wanted to feed off his five line. But at the same time, he couldn't let go of the entourage. He couldn't let go of the people always around him. That kind of were draining his physical and emotional and mental energy and he was also feeling guilty at the same time like everybody expected everything from him and he wanted to do everything for everybody that's what his manager was saying and he was always like worried he felt guilty that he couldn't do enough like oh like these you know friends are launching albums like why can't i help them i don't know what to do more for them i give them money i give them food so he was like always in this consistent consistent battle like i want my alone time but i feel bad i can't say no to everyone right i, I can't say no to anyone actually so that's what i wanted to share with you guys today this is a perfect example of the 2-5 energy uh, of a person that was very young and with other factors combined in their life, couldn't cope with all the attention, with all the craziness, with all the projections. And it was just overwhelming. When you have the five line, you need to learn to be practical more, like what to keep in your life and what to give away. And unfortunately for him, he didn't have time to do that. His life was cut too short and it's very very sad okay you guys uh, i'm gonna let you go now i'm gonna be posting more videos about human design astrology card readings and um, yeah see you bye